Hi all, welcome back to Enchanting English. Today we are going to have a very different topic. Are we not using the word very, very often? We are in fact overusing the word very. Well, what is very? Grammatically the word very is an adverb of degree. We use it to qualify a noun. So it becomes an adjective and we also use it to modify a verb. So it functions as an adverb. So we say very beautiful, very good, very fast, very slow. Likewise, so many times we use the word very. Well, let's learn some new words and interesting expressions to use the word very in a different manner or to avoid using the word very. Well, we say very good performance, very good idea. Let's learn some new words that we can use instead of very good. Instead of using very good performance, we can say an outstanding performance, an excellent performance. If you want to say very good idea, you can say a splendid idea, a fantastic idea. Now let's see what can we use to replace very bad. If you want to say very bad performance, you can say a disgraceful performance. If you want to say very bad weather, you can say an awful weather. Now the next word is very very often used by us that is very beautiful. Why don't we use words like she looks stunning, she looks gorgeous, she looks angelic. These are some of the words you can use instead of using the word very beautiful. Well, let's learn some new words that you could use instead of using the expression very interesting. You could say, I read a very captivating story. I read a very gripping story or I watched, uh, uh, I watched an absorbing movie. I watched a captivating movie. All these are very, very interesting expressions that you could use instead of using the word very interesting very, very often during your conversation. Now the next expression or the next word is used uh, often during our daily talk. It is very happy. Why don't we use words like I was overjoyed instead of saying I was very happy. I was ecstatic. This is another word that you could use instead of using I was very happy. You could say I was ecstatic. I was overjoyed. So let's make use of these expressions. Now let's look at uh, some words that you could use in order to replace very sad. You could say, I felt very dejected. I felt dejected. Instead of using the word, I felt very sad. You could say, I felt dejected. I felt downcast. Or I felt depressed. Or I was heartbroken. Well, now we are going to learn words that you could use to replace very tired. You could say, I was fatigued. I was wearied. I was exhausted. Instead of saying, I was very tired. Well, I believe you found today's session captivating. I mean, very interesting. Please do like, comment, share and if you are not my subscriber, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching.